Hello my friends, I made the first video about the best Osmo Pocket accessories a couple of weeks ago and today I would like to show you more accessories that I got myself recently and found to be useful. There is quite a bit of those, so let's get right into it. Let's start with the new case options. I have shown you the gimbal look by Polar Pro in previous video. It protects the gimbal and the display and it is possible to use it with controller wheel, so I still use that one a lot. This is 3D printed case made by Scotty Make Stuff. They also make 4th axis stabilizers, but we will get to those later. You can slide the Osmo Pocket inside of this case, close it with a cap and it will protect the whole device. It also has cutout on the front side, so it is also compatible with controller wheel. It has cutouts for SD card and USB-C port on the bottom side. Great feature is that it has quarter inch mount on the bottom and on the side for mounting the Osmo Pocket in horizontal or vertical position. It adds some bulk, but it improves the grip and it protects the device, so I really like to use it. Another option is Gimbal Protector by PGY Tech. This one is very simple, it just slides on the gimbal and the fitment is very good. The advantages are that it is the smallest option available, the manipulation is very easy and the main disadvantage is that it won't protect the screen. Regarding the filters, I have shown you Polar Pro ND filters and ND filters with polarizers ranging from ND4 to ND64 in the first video. I still use those and I am very happy with these filters. But people were asking me, do you really use 10 filters for Osmo Pocket? And the answer is no. I use 22 Osmo Pocket filters. So these are the new filters by Freewell. This is ND1000 filter. It cuts out 10 stops of light, so it is useful for long exposure shots. I am a big fan of long exposure photography and I especially like how it smooths out the water surface and also the clouds. Osmo Pocket has really good image quality for stills, it shoots raw, so I am very happy with this combination and the results that I am getting with it. Another very useful filter is night pollution filter. It basically prevents certain wavelengths of light from official sources such as sodium vapor lamps, mercury lamps and so on from entering your camera lens. It definitely makes a difference, you can see that yourself, so there is not much more that I can say about that. Another type of advanced filters are gradient filters. These filters are darker in the upper part which prevents the sky from being overexposed while keeping the lower part of frame sufficiently bright. This package consists of ND4 gradient, ND16 to 4 and ND32 to 8. These are circular polarizers, so we can adjust the angle. These are also great filters optically, definitely more advanced type of filters, but I like to use them. I also have some fixed gradient filters made by PGY Tech. These are also ND8 gradient, ND16 to 4 and ND32 to 8. The advantage over circular filters is that they are easier to use and sufficient most of the time. You can adjust the angle though and you can use them in portrait mode. These are very good in terms of optics as well, so the choice mainly depends on whether you prefer ease of use or option to adjust the angle. The last type of filters that I will show you in this video are fixed polarizing filters. Just like circular polarizers, these are meant for cutting out scattered light and reflections and also for increasing contrast and saturation, mainly in the sky. Just like with gradient filters, fixed polarizers are easier to use because there is no option to adjust the strength of polarizing effect, but of course that also means that you don't have that much flexibility. Next up we have wide angle lens. It is made by Ulanzi, which is a company famous mostly for making ingenious vlogging case for GoPro which can hold the sound brick, I will show you that one in similar video about GoPro accessories. So this is 0.65 times magnification lens, which means that it turns 26mm full frame equivalent lens on Osmo Pocket to roughly 17mm. That basically means that now we have ultra wide angle Osmo Pocket. It actually performs better than I expected. Central sharpness is still very good, but you can see that the corners are definitely not as crisp as they were without the lens and it has a bit of a fisheye look. Overall, I would say that it still looks pretty good, 
and it is definitely usable in my opinion. It is magnetic, so it attaches like any other filter, but you have to turn the Osmo Pocket on first. 17mm focal length is also much easier to stabilize, so the footage with this lens attached looks smoother than without it. This is a great accessory in my opinion, it definitely increases versatility of Osmo Pocket, and despite decreased corner sharpness, I think that it is a very useful Osmo Pocket accessory. One of my complaints about the Osmo Pocket was fiddly connection to the smartphone, so here I have some smartphone holders that should solve that. Probably my most favorite one is this one from PGY Tech. It is made completely out of metal, it is super solid, it has cold shoe mount on the top and quarter inch mount on the bottom. The fitment is great and it is very secure. This one is also made by PGY Tech, it is also very solid, it is two piece holder and it is probably a bit more secure since there is no hinge. It is larger and less portable though, so I probably prefer the first one. This is another phone holder made by Ulanzi. It consists of very heavy duty metal phone holder and plastic Osmo pocket holder. I like that this one can be tightened or loosened by the screw. It is also very solid, so it is a good option. I am happy with all three of these, so you can choose the one that suits your needs the best. I mostly use these together with small table tripod made by PGY Tech, it is also a good handle if you fold it, and it matches PGY Tech color scheme. Another thing that we will take a look at is 4th axis stabilizer. Osmo Pocket is 3 axis gimbal, which means that it can't smooth out walking very well. This is one of the main complaints about the Osmo Pocket in general. Scotty makes stuff makes 4th axis gimbal, which can very significantly improve that. It is also 3D printed, it is relatively simple device, but you need to make some adjustments. You can change the angle of the handle and you can also change how responsive do you want it to be using little screw on the top of the stabilizer and little wrench stored in the handle. I've been getting really good results while using this, just be aware that it moves a lot, so it seems like the footage will be all over the place, but it actually looks really good. Another option is this cased version. You can basically store the Osmo Pocket inside of this case and then just open it up. It is a bit smaller, it works similarly, but personally I prefer the regular version because of the grip. It obviously adds bulk to your Osmo Pocket and you probably won't be carrying this stabilizer all the time, but if you shoot something more serious with your Osmo Pocket it will definitely help. In the previous videos I have talked about my most favorite mounts. These are Polar Pro tripod mount, which is my most favorite mount, Polar Pro Wi-Fi adapter, Polar Pro action mount, and DJI accessory mount. I also have a couple of new mounting options, so let's take a look at those. This is the universal mounting kit by PGY Tech, which uses the expansion port on Osmo Pocket. l bracket then connects to that using GoPro mount, and you can mount this thing anywhere using GoPro mount on the bottom, or included GoPro to quarter inch thread adapter. This is pretty minimalistic option, which is the main advantage of this mount, and the most obvious disadvantage is that it uses the expansion port, so it won't work with anything that connects to that. The buttons on Osmo Pocket are also obstructed in some cases. On the other hand, there is enough clearance for a Wi-Fi module. It is also possible to just buy the L-Bracket or L-Bracket Plus and use that with DJI accessory mount. It will basically relocate GoPro mount from the back side to bottom side, which is very practical in my opinion, and you can still use it with wireless module. 3.5mm mic adapter is also available now, but unfortunately not where I live, so there will have to be part 3 of this video. But I will at least show you my favorite ways to mount mic to Osmo Pocket. The obvious mic choice for Osmo Pocket is Rode Video Micro. It is small, it has great audio quality and it is relatively cheap. The simplest way to mount it is to use data ports to cold shoe mount adapter. It can also be used with L-bracket and some type of handle if you tilt it enough to fit the 3.5mm adapter. The second option is to use Polar Pro tripod mount and additional cold shoe. This will allow you to use the controller wheel or connect the Osmo Pocket to your smartphone. It is not possible to use it with handle though, so the ergonomy is not great, but it is still usable. The third option is to mount the Osmo Pocket to your phone using one of the three phone holders that I have shown you earlier, and then mount the mic to cold shoe on the holder. 
This is actually the most practical option in my opinion, it kind of turns your Osmo Pocket to more serious device with larger screen and better audio. So this was part 2 of my Osmo Pocket accessories, I hope that it was useful and if you haven't seen part 1, it is linked in the description, so please take a look at that as well. There is still a lot more to come, I will try to get charging case and audio adapter as soon as possible. I hope that the waterproof case and the extension rod will be available soon and I will also make a video about those. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching, I hope that you like this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you would like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.